Welcome back Woo-hoo! to the 128 KB podcast. We are back once again. Oh, yes. You guessed it. Due to lack of popular demand. Yes. This is your weekly dose of all things gaming. It is indeed. With him and me. Yes. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Are yeah, you good? Good yeah. week? Yeah. No, yeah. well, not really, because I came to the realisation yeah. that this console generation oh. is a massive L. <gasps> is this the most disappointing console generation ever? That's the question I want to ask. Possibly. It possibly is. There's only one Ah. answer. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it is. So thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you next time. Yeah. um, Okay. I've got a bit of a bee in my bonnet. Yeah. As can be well expressed by looking through the history of this podcast. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, I am Major League playstation fan How would you, you and now were. i don't have to say you have to look at my playstation actually because because it's all there m- most of it's behind us that's it that, that is yes okay huge playstation fan since the ps1 yep love it and i have felt let down by the ps5 generation yeah yeah and uh, so then i start exploring what else is out there yes yeah yeah and i don't feel overly inspired by anything else that i find oh. as being a truly next generational leap forward yes yeah okay yeah i got you so there's a lot of things that disappoint me about this generation but the, yep. the first one i want to talk about is that like lack of wonder that we used to get between when we had the ps1 yes or even before that when the ps1 first arrived yeah 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 and the it was PS1. like one yeah yeah whoa yeah 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 and then when we saw the next generation to that, the PS2, and it was mm-hmm. like, I, I remember seeing that at friends' houses and being... Everyone was on about the PS2. Oh. Like, the PS2 was the thing. Yes. Like, I mean, look at the sales figures and the games. Yeah. Like, it was phenomenal. Most of them were 60 FPS. It was like, what? Incredible. Like, it's mad. That- so, like, every generation, we've seen this giant... Huge what felt leap. like a giant leap forward yeah, yeah. and that you could only access certain kind of gameplay experiences yes by making that leap yeah. into the yeah, next yeah, generation yeah. you you weren't on it unless yeah. you were on the latest one you 100%. know if you still had your ps2 and the ps3 was out yeah pff, what are you doing <laughs> it doesn't matter what what console you look at and what yeah. generation you look at whether it's like nintendo consoles going generation yeah, to generation yeah, yeah. whether it was uh sega even yes um and then of course sony with the playstation and then more recently with microsoft and xbox as well yeah 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 there was always this big leap and it was it was always just just filled with utter excitement yeah ps3 to 4 was less so, but there was still... There, it was still a jump. Still it, a jump. It was still a noticeable leap. 100%. It was less noticeable, Yeah, but it was still noticeable. Yeah. This time, going from PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to series, doesn't really seem like there's much of a jump. No, I am I think the, the big thing I'm left with, really, is that feeling of, has it even started yet? We're, we're yeah. all asking, like, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. like, waiting Yep. for this next generation experience but yet we're into the fourth year <laughs> i was just about PS5. to say that. the fourth year that must be that must mean it's it's past its halfway mark yeah i'd say we're about, about that halfway mark halfway yeah. through its yeah. life yeah and it feels like it hasn't started hasn't, yet yeah exactly it's it's weird though isn't it like it feels like an incremental upgrade mm. from the previous do you know what i mean it, yeah. it feels like the ps5 is actually the PS4 Pro. Do you know what I mean? It really does. Like, I, I think in isolation, if you just came into and just, just got a PS5 and that's your first thing... Oh, yes. It'd be huge. Or if you had, oh, a, yes. if you had a PS3 before, missed four entirely, you'd be like, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were like a real casual gamer yeah. and you were just, you know, chilling with your Xbox 360 still... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then went to like a Series X or a PS5, yeah. then you're going to be mind blown. Because on their right. own, they're incredible. Amazing machines. And if you hadn't experienced all the games that released on PS4, yeah. this is just, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, leap. It's a huge leap. I think it's just underwhelming. It is. And, and again, on the back of that, not even just looking at like a graphical thing, which is like before when you had like the 8-bit era, yeah. and then it doubled to the 16-bit era, yeah, yeah. and then it doubled to the 32-bit era. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it always was like doubling PS1 to PS2, 2 to 3. Yeah. Like it always seemed like a, a huge graphical leap. Yeah. And then now it's like, well, it didn't really seem to be any graphical. Even look at The Last of Us Remastered. Oh, my um, God. What, they've changed the lighting. 
Uh, <laughs> Last of Us Part 2, PS4. Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, yeah. PS5. Yes. They look... It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's identical. Oh, yeah. So, like, there's nothing really changed between these. Okay, there, there is a slight yeah, you've got to be improvement. Fair. Yeah. And when you really critically analyse it, yes, it's better resolutions, better frame rates, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's not the same kind of gap as it was before. No. But that aside... Is this, where's the games? That's you know I, mean? The, I mean, that's the biggest one, isn't it? Where's the games? Where? And we're not talking about what games are available. Obviously, there's hundreds. But what we're talking about is what game is there? Let's talk about PlayStation that's exclusive for PS5 and not available on PS4 or anywhere else. Just the PS5. It's just Spider-Man 2, isn't it? It was Ratchet & Clank as well. Yeah. Oh, yes. No, you're right, because it needed the SSD. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, Ratchet & Clank, P- uh, Spider-Man 2. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 is yeah. a limited time exclusive. Okay. Well, well and then they're going to backwards port it to the PS4. Probably, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that's about all I'm getting. Yeah. I oh, think. I know. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the that? Astro. Astro's what? Playroom. Astro's Playroom. Yes, that's the best PS5 game. Do you know? And it, comes, it actually is the best comes PS5 really, game. Comes with the PS5. That was uh, we've spoke about it before. I know I've said it before, but that's obviously the. It's usually the first thing anyone plays on the PS5. Yeah. And when you unbox your PS5, turn on full of excitement. You play this controller demo. That's I don't know. Is it like five hours long? Yeah, it's a few hours. Yeah, yeah. You're feeling like you're like oh, this is like a sack boy moment. This is amazing. It felt incredible. I, I truly felt like this is... Next generation. Yeah. That was the only one because... I'm getting immersed in a new way. And it took uh, full advantage of all the features of the DualSense. Have we seen all those features being taken advantage of anything else? Not in the same way. There is games that use utilise all features, I believe, but not as, like, in your face. Yeah. Like, right now you're going to experience this. Now you're going to have that. Now you're going to have... Do you know what I mean? It was like... There were like subtleties that they managed to put into that, like the... The haptic feedback and stuff, and yeah, it actually yeah. feels like, oh, I feel like I'm in water. Yeah, or, I feel or like in, in sand, mud. or yeah, yeah, whatever it might it's be. really yeah. cleverly done, so and the adaptive good. triggers were yeah. perfectly done. The gyroscope was used well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The only things I've seen with, like, the adaptive triggers is annoying things like in Call of Duty where the trigger feels yeah, like yeah. a trigger and it slows yeah. you down. Well, there might be like a burn arrow drawback on a certain <sighs> game. Yeah. But it always feels like a bit of an afterthought to me. Like a gimmick. Yeah, it's not like the... It's not a forefront of the gameplay mechanic to yeah. have that built in yeah. it just feels like oh yeah it can do that let's just add that in. Uh, so that, let's not just um let's not, not take a turn on playstation on its own yes because yeah, yeah with microsoft yes they're just as guilty yeah, i mean we didn't even get any fancy controller gimmicks <laughs> no fancy controller gimmicks <laughs> just huge battery life that's very true <laughs> which i'm very that thankful is next for. generation though we're thinking about it yeah <laughs> ps5 controller what five minutes <laughs> 40 hours on the Xbox. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Honestly, the PlayStation 5 controller, I will have to charge it every time I play it. Yes. Because I'm probably going to be playing for like three hours. We've got say. the little dock thing. Yeah. It's just always good. charged. Yeah. But okay. it still only lasts like three hours. Yeah. So I'm, there's always one plugged in and yep. one ready to go. Yeah. Uh, it's always needing charging. It's atrocious. So at least with the Xbox controller, AA batteries, that's kind of annoying, but you can get battery packs for it. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you wanted to. Or you can get the Elite, or get the thing. elite controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you get i think it's like 40 hours is it or something stupid off double a battery it's about that yeah yeah i think it's, it's about insane that. yeah i just got the elite series 2 or whatever it's called and that's got 40 hours built in yeah just usb c charge so you don't have any of the features the fancy features it doesn't have the microphone speaker built in blah blah, mm, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah yeah so it's not very next generation it's very bog standard yes it's kind of like a pro controller for the nintendo switch yeah but you know it lasts long but I was going to say, games-wise, which is this part of the conversation, mm, mm, mm. what has Xbox brought us that's truly next-generational? Yeah, again, I can't really think of anything. What really. have they brought us that's exclusive? The only thing is Starfield, isn't Starfield? it? Starfield? Yes. And I can't really... Th- no, a Hi-Fi Rush was exclusive. But rumors maybe it's coming yeah. to Switch, isn't I was, it? I was going to say, maybe not for long. Um, there might be some others like that I've just not paid attention to. I guess the problem with when we took at Microsoft on like ex- like this generation games, because of Game Pass and because it's owned 
by Microsoft. Mm. Most of them are available for PC as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. like, Sea of Thieves is hugely popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primarily with PC players. Yes. Um, I feel as so well... they do have that issue. I feel like Xbox as well has made it, like, a uh, game on what you want thing. Mm. So they've not been overly fussed about the next gen. They've, like, it's better, better resolution better frame rate or if you don't want to spend the money get the series s yeah and now we're not even caring about resolution frame yeah. rate just have fun playing you yeah. know so they're almost of the mindset of like we don't we don't care what system you play it on just play it on xbox so like starfield is, is the kind of one that sticks in mind and because it's a game we both played a lot and i know we both really enjoyed and it seems like we're in the minority yeah, 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 yeah. It's, i'm it's, fine it's, with that i'm i'm happy to like something <laughs> everyone else doesn't I really enjoyed it, but the whole way through that, whatever it was, 150 odd hours yeah, playthrough, yeah, yeah. I was acutely aware of the problems that it has yeah. all the way. And the more you play, the more you find like bugs and bugs, stuff. Like it's buggy as yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. There's some real problems in there. It's Bethesda. It's it's Bethesda. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was just about to say it's in the name. <laughs> and like graphics wise performance wise none of it felt like no it I was wasn't like, like wow blow your face off was it no like, not no. at all the animation of the npcs <laughs> especially in dialogue <laughs> love it let me just zoom in on your face <laughs> yeah it's a, but it was it was fun one thing i do appreciate with bethesda games and yeah. that weird dialogue screen that they have is that they leave the camera slightly free roaming yes so what i'd always do is pan up so just the people's yeah. eyes are yeah, showing. yeah yeah i'd do that i'd i'd have their head like going around the edges of the screen just like yeah because <laughs> christina came in and went what are you doing i was like this <laughs> why not messing with them <laughs> yeah why not but yeah so i i agree it's not just sony and all it's it's xbox 2 um and I suppose at least PlayStation have tried, like with the Ratchet and Clank, Clank thing, they actually tried to do this next thing, yeah. utilising that that quick loading times through the the a great, a great feature, and you would kind of hope that more games embrace yeah. that idea. And it, a great, great game as well, yeah. uh, even though I've been playing it on Steam Deck. <laughs> um, really good game. Yeah. But I like that they at least tried. Do you know what I mean? Uh, maybe it's rough of us to point the blame at this console generation being disappointing at the console manufacturers because a lot of that blame mm. then has to also be directed at the game publishers i think it's more so the game publishers because without the system no, no without the game you can't yeah have the system to power it so yeah literally as we were setting up to record this i was i've got a bunch of old yes. console boxes yeah, yeah, behind yeah, yeah, me yeah. and uh we looked at the ps4 yep. box that's there which was the red dead redemption yes. 2 version yep. So that, that PS4 came with that bundled in. There hasn't been that moment. No. No, no Has no. there? For, no. uh, for yeah. either Xbox or PlayStation, there hasn't been a no. Red, Dead, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 moment. No. No, and it no. doesn't necessarily have to be exclusive to that platform, mm, mm. Like, like that wasn't. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's just that next huge game. Huge thing. That experience. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, looking back at when we were younger, it's like... Oh, the new system's out, but there's this game that you can only play this game yeah. if you've got the latest system. Yeah. And now it's like, well, everything comes out on everything. Like now yeah. on PS4 and PS5. Why are we four years into the new system and the, PS4 is still a thing? It's that should have isn't that it? should have been phased out within about eighteen months. Yeah. Not still be here four years later. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, it's disappointing that I mean there's always like I said, there's always a crossover period. It just feels yeah, like this four years? Yeah, it feels like they almost coexist the PS4 and mm. PS5, and the same with the Xbox as well. It yeah, feels yeah, like yeah. it coexists with its uh, predecessor. Mm, it's weird. It's disappointing, yeah. um, and it it often makes me question why the new release is seventy pounds for the yeah. PS5 when it's sixty for the <laughs> PS4. And I go, I could probably get the PS4 version and it would play. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it'd probably be yeah. the same. And for a long time, you could just buy the PS4 version and get a free upgrade. Free upgrade. And it's like I'm pretty sure they stopped that now because they realise that oh, <laughs> yeah. no one's paying seventy for our games. <laughs> I, I did so, it with Cyberpunk yeah. for the like two hours that I played it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had the PS4 version from yep. way before. I never played it. Yep, same. Then I put it in the PS5 and it went oh, free upgrade. Yeah, oh, okay, uh, why not? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Mm. Yeah, I. Beyond pointing fingers of blame at the game publishers and developers, I guess we have to be realistic as well. That as as technology gets better, it's well known that the kind of curve of development is that 
thing called the law of diminishing returns. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. as things get better, mm -hmm. it takes a lot more for it to seem better. Yes, yeah, and I think with with there really like yeah. Then the next thing is more stable resolution at a higher FPS because these these systems are like 4K 60. But they, they don't yeah, do 4K no, 60. No, no, no. And I mean, again, I always say this, 8K on yeah. the box. It's like you've got one game that does 8K and it's basically like probably about one pixel on the screen. <laughs> it's just, you know, whatever. But I feel like it annoys me that this generation is meant to be this whole 4K 60 thing and there's nowhere near it. We've got fidelity mode and performance mode. Yeah. And even in fidelity mode, you're not hitting 4K 60. Most of the time it's 4K 30. Mm -hmm. And then you're hitting 60 FPS by going to performance mode, which is just 1440p yeah. upscaled or actually just f upscaled to 1440p from an even lower resolution. Yeah, from yeah. So it's like, so what? Like, it, I feel like the next thing in terms of leap in performance we can see it's not necessarily graphical it no. can be because we can get ray tracing like nailed with yeah. a higher fps but it's mainly going to be this higher frame rate at high resolution thing i think once we see like 4k 60 locked in in fidelity mode with ray tracing and everything else not upscaled from like freaking 340p I, I, um I and guess, yeah i guess as well that it's not like that diminishing returns thing. It's no longer about those kind of incremental little increase in specs and can it do 4K 60 or not. That's not necessarily everything for what the experience is. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yet yeah. to see a truly Red Dead Redemption 2 moment. Yeah, that's going to be GTA 6, isn't it? It's going, that's yeah. where I was leading it. Yeah, it's yeah, going yeah. to be GTA 6. Uh, so again, you kind of have to point your finger at the publishers and go, it's yeah. just a bit lacking the yeah. past few years. Yeah, it is. Yeah, on those truly. That's because huge Microsoft moments. bought everyone, and no one's been able to, <laughs> able to work. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I mean, I'm holding a lot of hope out for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. That should be a, a epic this generation. I'm going to stop saying next gen. Yes, it's this gen. This gen. We're in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This gen experience. Um. But yeah, I just there hasn't been not that I can think of. Starfield wasn't really that moment. I loved it, but it wasn't amazing really that game. Moment. Yeah. But it wasn't next generation feeling. Do you know what I mean? There was nothing, no mechanic or anything that made you go, "Wow, I've never seen this before in gaming," or yeah. "Wow, that felt truly like next level." Yeah, you know, something that couldn't have just been done on the previous system. Yeah, because it could have been if they just dumbed it down a little bit in terms of graphics. Very easily <laughs> could have just played. Probably it could have. Yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. I mean, if the Series S was running it okay. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of frame drops, though. Yes. Yeah. A lot of... Yeah, but even I did on the X in the main town, you know, yeah, New, New Atlantis. Yeah. You're, like, walking, it's like... And it's like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> Cheers. And even um, Christina's been playing um, Avatar, Far Cry, Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> uh, and, <laughs> you know, the new Avatar Can we game. remember the name? Avatar Frontiers... We were in a game shop. Not Babylon. <laughs> Not Babylon. Pandora. Yeah. Yes. We there got we it go. this week. We got it this week. So she's been playing that, and there's been a couple of times I've been like, a bit frame dippy there. Mm. But most of the time it's pretty stable. I must admit that game looks beautiful. It really does. And and I would say actually that's close the, to this. This this the the closest I've got to feeling next generation. There's only two that come to mind. First one's this one in terms of graphical like fidelity. Like yeah. it looks insanely stunning. Every time I like I'm normally doing something else or on my phone or something I look up and watch a play. I'm like this looks insane. It looks really good. Series X on a o OLED 4k oled telly yeah. and like this is phenomenal like it looks amazing and the next game that actually made me go wow was alan wake 2 that that game wow, really okay. for me was yeah. like this is incredible um other than the fact that there was an audio delay because i had my soundbar set up wrong and i only noticed it when she started playing avatar so i played the whole of alan wake 2 thinking that they'd done it intentionally to make <laughs> it feel off could to make it feel even more creepy because it's like you know it's a basically a horror game yeah. so i thought oh it's just a bit disturbing the audio is like slightly out of sync and i was like no no my tv's just set up wrong <laughs> so uh yeah i fixed that because she was playing a avatar and i went oh god this isn't alan wake 2 <laughs> this is a like a setup problem <laughs> 
<laughs> so I changed some of the settings on the soundbar and then it went into sync. And I went, I played the whole of Alan Wake 2. Amazing. Out of sync by like half a second. Like, you have nothing but problems. I know. It's because I'm a PC gamer and I know how to fix and diagnose PC problems. Yeah. But coming to an Xbox, I don't know that Dolby Vision oh, is going to mess up. Because like, your PC problems fo- problems follow you. No, no, because no. Because that's no. PC gaming. Yeah, no, no. I've, I can deal with PC problems because yeah. I can spot them and know the fix. With console problems, I don't, I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> you know, I had that issue with the freaking... The control the the controller delay. Yeah, the input lag from having freaking Dolby Atmos... Um, <laughs> Um, so good enabled and only when you've got it enabled does it then tell you this could cause input delay why ah! does it cause input delay I have, no an, idea. I have no thing. idea I have no idea I have no idea really weird so that caused an input delay on Starfield which made me blow my mind because yeah. I was like I can't do this like I was like this is horrible I would move it and then about five minutes later he started moving I'm like okay it wasn't that drastic but it was bad and then obviously this audio sync thing which was nothing to do with the Xbox it was actually to do with my soundbars setting mm. um, but it was still something I had to get over but I played like 35 hours of Alan Wake 2 with it like that <laughs> <laughs> completed the game um, amazing yeah but so anyway going back to the point avatar is like next gen uh in terms of visuals yeah not in terms of gameplay it's just far cry mm. but, you know but the visuals it is stunning it really is very very good looking um and i even said to christina i don't even know how you would top this on pc without having like an extremely expensive setup you know like a forty ninety or something because mm-hmm. it just looks so good everywhere you look no matter how close you get to stuff or how far away it is it's so crisp you know a couple of like minor fps dips but in general very stable we're playing it on the 30 fps fidelity mode um but yeah alan wake 2 that for me was like this if, if games are like those two yeah now we're getting into next gen yeah so if other developers start making games like this we're in that next level where they finally four yeah. years in it's taken yeah. four years i mean these two games are the ones for me there's a few i'm holding out hope for that really land me that experience i i think i can think of three off the top of my head gta 6 is obviously oh, one absolutely it's going to be a generation but defining experience they always blow everyone's minds yeah like and, and right so when they're always huge yeah well rockstar <laughs> red dead exactly you know red dead 2 is amazing whenever they do red dead 3 which they have to do surely they have to that's going to be phenomenal as well yeah you know? yeah will it be a prequel oh to oh what was the the actual prequel to red dead one so Red Dead 1 was after Red Dead 2. I know, but there's a game before Red Dead 1. Oh, yeah, but it's unrelated. Oh, it's not a prequel. Uh, yeah, Red Dead Revolver. Is That's it. it. Yeah, oh, it's, it's not, not even the no, same storyline. No. Oh, okay. Oh, I've And it's, it's PS2. Yeah, yeah. I remember we looked at some gameplay. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's not very good at all. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it could be a prequel. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. so obviously GTA 6. That's, that's going to be a generation-defining experience. I'm holding out a lot of hope for Final Fantasy VII. Absolutely, VII, yeah. I've, I've, I think that's going to be mind blown. The well. other one that could blow our minds: mm-hmm. Star Wars Outlaws. Oh yes, I was going to say about this earlier, and then I forgot. Yes, yeah, Star Wars Outlaws. I've I've watched that like 15 minute intro thing about three times now. Yeah. I put it on again the other day because I wanted to show Christina. I was like, "You've got to see this. This yeah. is so good." And even she was like, "Okay, yeah, this this looks really good." You know. Could be amazing it's, that's going to be like phenomenal yeah that's got to be up there it, it it'll be, be. This, it should be from what they've shown and as long as they don't mess it up it should be the star wars game we've all always wanted oh yeah 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 you're taking part in pretty much any part of this mm. as a scoundrel galaxy, galaxy that you want yes and it's got that like no man's sky experience of being able to like i mean could it be a, like the starfield starfield yeah. that we wanted yeah maybe well, not that we wanted, but everyone else wanted. Yeah, I mean, this. this I think we got the stuff that we wanted, but yeah, we're the only people that liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, possibly. So there's, there's some that I'm holding out hope for that could really redeem this generation uh, from the PlayStation and Xbox category. I can't think of any quickly off the top of my head, mm. any others. No, um, no. But yeah, generally, it's the games that make it lacking. And because of the closeness in technology now the the generational gap's not as obvious yeah the other big kind of empty space in this hmm. the big variable that we've yeah. not seen before in different generations the big red the big red space Ooh. the r oh the yeah. rgb yes and that's of course nintendo yeah 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 
who have just absconded from this generation yeah, entirely. Like, nope. <laughs> not, not taking part in it. Bye. Nah. No, nah, we're still doing nah, yeah. the same one as before. We're on our own area over here, yeah. Yeah, and, and I know Nintendo have always, almost always done their own thing and have rarely yeah, they seemed care, to do compete. They? Not since the PlayStation era, really. Yeah. I guess the N64 was the last I, time. I would actually even argue GameCube because GameCube yeah. was the last time they properly did a push on raw power. Yeah, like console like gaming. Like proper powerful. And it flopped. So they went, meh. And yeah. then they went to the Wii and started flailing your arms around. So like in recent history, in the last, I guess, what's that? Like 15 years yeah. or so? They've just done their own thing. Yeah, they're just like, nope. They operate in their own little space. They've got their own IPs. Yep. They're massively strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not there to, to compete on performance. No. Or graphic for they, they purely care about fun. Fun. Yeah. And I'm all for that. That's the kind yeah. of gamer I am. I'm there yeah. for the fun. Yep. But them not doing anything mm. in this generation mm. so far is quite rare. Yeah. Even yeah, in recent history, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's unusual for there to be nothing from this Nintendo. This has been the longest period of time without <clears throat> a new system from yeah. Nintendo, you know? And I think that plays a massive part in this whole moment of gaming, the past five yeah. years, let's say, yeah, yeah, yeah. feeling very lacklustre. It could be, yeah, yeah. Because the Switch has just bumbled along. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they've just kind of ejected. They're just maintaining doing the switch and yeah. the switch has been wildly popular until very recently was the best selling month on yeah. month every month until yeah. the ps5 overtook it uh in literally in the past like six months or so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so the from a business point of view they did the right thing yes for and, their own goods and maybe this year we'll see you know but also the games that they've been releasing mm. in their own little bubble mm, mm. have been really good yeah they've been great really yeah. good but they, like you say, they're about to enter this generation mm, mm. Um, and we're likely to hear by March time that they might maybe announcing Hopefully. for the end of the year the Switch 2 or the whatever they or call the, it. The Pro-Led. The Pro-Led. Yes. The Super Nintendo Switch Pro. Yes. With the same Joy-Cons. <sighs> No, it needs pro pro cons. It's gonna have the same joy. They're gonna be called pro cons. Oh, that's good actually. Yeah, joy pros. No, pro cons. Not joy pros. No, this no. doesn't something you'd buy in Ann Summers. Yeah, <laughs> that one might have been. Yeah, pro pro cons. It's got to yes. be the, the pro led with the pro cons. Wow, all the pros. That's what I want. The with Nintendo the pro, pro led pro cons. The pro led screen. The pro led. Yeah. Yeah. So they're about. They are overdue to enter this space, and will that be enough to? Uh, reinvigorate it to change it mm. because they're not going to release the Switch 2 with no games <laughs> they're going to Nintendo always release yeah, with some big IP they've always launches. got some big heavy hitter and there's a lot that's kind of pent up and overdue so many Prime 4 Prime 4 has got to be the, the prime example oh um, and there's loads of stuff we've got another 3D Mario 3D Mario that's got to be another thing freaking Mario Kart 9 mm. The last one was from the Wii U. Yeah. You know, um, even the new Zeldas, you know, they've already said that Tears of the Kingdom's it for the Breath of the Wild-like series. Yeah. And now we're looking at something new and they're obviously going to be targeting this new system, which hopefully sees better performance and whatever else, maybe a new art style or yeah. whatever. Because Tears of the Kingdom, <laughs> you could see the system was struggling a little it's bit with that. Very, the performance you know? is poor on it. Exactly. And Pokemon. Yeah. Maybe we'll get an actual decent 3D Pokemon game. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, in terms That's of performance, unlikely, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, well, true. Yeah, <laughs> this is Game Freak we're talking about. Yeah. There's like three people in that company, and uh, I hear the comments already saying that that's not a next generation experience. These Nintendo games aren't, but yeah. it depends on what type of games you like. Yes. first of all, yeah, yeah. but also even if you disagree that they are, they could be this generation worthy. What they'll do is add competition to yeah. a space that feels It'll very raise stagnant. The bar. Yeah. Raise the bar. Because if Nintendo start becoming the best-selling console again, mm. everyone else has to do stuff to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. step up. Yes, yeah, yeah, totally. And I, I think they're, they're capable of that because they're just going to take the Switch format and then hopefully beef it up, yeah. you know, and, like, give us, like, PS4-level graphics or whatever, but handheld, Yeah, you know, maybe utilising DLSS and stuff like that to get really good frame rates docked. Yeah. I don't know what they'll do, but 
I think it will be like, okay, wow. Because especially with the fact that we've sat with the Switch now for seven years, which is a long time, mm. and nothing's changed. The games have been pretty much heavy hitters every time since. It's not like it started slow or anything like that. It's just been like, bam, 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 for seven years. We've all kind of got a bit complacent with that. Yeah. So if they raise that bar again, like you said, then everyone else has got to pick their pants up and go, whoa, okay, yeah, come on, boys. Got to do stuff, yeah, 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 better get to work again. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, so, I think uh, the other thing is, that, like a positive note, one thing really worth acknowledging um, that this gen that's happened in this generation has come about from Nintendo not taking part and what yes. they did seven years ago. They reimagined handheld gaming. They brought they almost kind of brought it back yeah with that yeah, hybrid yeah, yeah. system and then since then we've seen it's kind of wild fashionability hmm. steam deck yep steam deck oled yes yeah yeah, yeah. the rog ally yep. uh the msi claw claw yeah that's it and a host of other um the handheld windows based oh, the, the lenovo legion go yeah a yeah. massively overpriced go 400 million a neo handhelds because they've released one a day every month yeah uh the uh and then also you you see like the emulators they yeah, become yeah. really popular yeah. and yeah, stuff yeah and better build quality and stuff as well good screens yeah handheld gaming in general has just become a lot more popular again mm. and th that's because of the switch and high performance handheld gaming has become popular yeah and again i think that the switch is because of that too yes because the switch was where when skyrim launched on it i then saw the potential of the switch like from day one yeah i went if bethesda are releasing skyrim as a launch title on switch this could mean other third party companies will come and bring their games over. Have access so, to Nintendo yeah. all of so a sudden. So I started buying every third-party game I could on the Switch yeah. because I was like trying to support the companies to bring more, bring more over. Like, not just make this a Nintendo system, make this, you know, a, a wider audience mm. than just, okay, just the Nintendo games. And, and it worked. Yeah. There's so many games now that come onto the Switch. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, even seeing Red Dead 1 remastered yeah. come over to the Switch who saw that coming yeah you know like yeah, it's if incredible. you go, go back in time that's just not a nintendo <laughs> thing to do I know, that's i'm what expecting mean. more brain train games yes yeah that yeah, was yeah. where handheld gaming had yes. got to yeah, yeah yeah pokemon and brain brain trainers yeah, yeah yeah it pretty much was wasn't it so when the switch sort of changed that tact again and said no we're here for all of you whether mm. you're baby yeah. you know want to play with your dogs or whatever or if you want to be a hardcore gamer and play some and good games you know this handheld system is our main system yes and that's it it does everything yeah you can dock it or you can go off and play with it you know portably and that's what blew my mind the potential yeah now obviously we've got the steam deck and all the other stuff which is incredible you know and it, insane it, you know and again steam deck for me i think when the switch came out i wanted the switch to be what the steam deck is because there was no steam deck mm. you know i my library on steam is fast yeah and I always thought I'd love to play these games portably. So when the Switch came through in 2017 and was showing Skyrim and stuff like that, I was like, oh my God, these are the kind of games I want to play. You know, in my, like looking at it now, really it's what I want. I like, I wanted the Steam Deck yeah. then. And the, the Switch kind of enabled Valve to take that plunge themselves, which then kicked up everyone else to do it. And, you know, I, I love the Switch. I do find myself now at the end of its life playing steam deck more mm. but i think once the the switch 2 comes i'm probably going to be jumping into that so much more because i can't wait to see what they do like this new generation of gaming because nintendo are very good at taking random gimmicks and odd things to make gaming fun again mm. and that's what i want to see what they do next which yeah, hopefully yeah. inspires everyone else be really interesting but it is just really interesting to see that this generation had the biggest kind of positive from it i'd say is game pass yes yeah and, yeah, yeah. and handheld gaming yeah becoming um i don't say like triple a because that's kind of a bit misleading but but becoming mainstream yes yeah 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 it's not it's not back alley random pc land anymore no like you know you can literally go and buy these off the shelf you can go to curry's and buy a rog ally yeah or you know and whatever. when you're when you're playing let's say the steam deck oled because you've got one and yeah I've, I've managed to play it with you when you when you have played a Steam Deck OLED with the OLED panel, that actually feels like a next generation yeah. experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's phenomenal, isn't it? I, I remember day one when, when you got it at launch, 
I came into this room and you were sat on the sofa and I looked just over your shoulder before you even said anything. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it's that feeling yeah, 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 yeah. that I remember when I first saw a PS2. It was like, yes. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That looks amazing. So what we're saying is Steam have won this console generation until the, the switch 2 comes out yeah but I, I would agree like once i got the steam deck one hmm. like i had the same feeling as when i upgraded a year later to the steam deck oled you know or the same year even whatever it was you know a short period of time but every time i pick that thing up i just get mind blown yeah that i'm playing games that consoles used to struggle playing or pcs used to struggle playing and i'm here playing it on a 90 hertz oled screen yeah. at like 60 90 fps yeah. it's like how is this even working Do you know I mean that to me is i think it's more mind-blowing than this console generation <laughs> yeah yeah no, i absolutely agree uh but it's not without hope there are some shimmering lights in the distance yeah definitely may, yeah may do it and there may be some people listening that are like are you insane spider-man was the best yeah. thing that uh, happened <laughs> and yes we're insane I'm going to whisper it to you now because I know <laughs> oh, you'll all hate me. Go on. I don't like Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. And, and Spider-Man 2 is the same as Spider-Man 1. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, it's pretty much the same. Though, I can feel it? the hate. Ooh. It is though, isn't it? It's, it's like another Far Cry moment. Or Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's just FIFA all over again. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, it looks great, you know. It does I'd, look good. I'd much rather play those games than some others, you know, but yeah. it is pretty much more of the same. It's not a whole new take on Spider-Man, is it? No. It's the same as the Spider-Man that released on the GameCube in the early 2000s. Like, you swing around the city from a third-person perspective, beat up bad guys that you swing past and do some main missions. There's nothing wrong it's with that. It is a Spider-Man game. fantastic game. It's but, what you expect. But it's not, like, next generation or, like, oh, my God, like playing Alan Wake 2. I know it's just a linear story story driven game but there's things that happen in that that made me go like oh my god i've never seen that yeah in a game before yeah. just like when i played max Payne originally yes good, and good sa shout. same guy that made both is it yeah sam lake that's why you did that reference it is why i did that reference god. so same thing like mind blown like yeah that kind of game development where they go outside of the box and make something that nobody else has made before yeah that's what makes it feel next gen to me whilst spider-man 2 is next gen because it looks phenomenal smooth as butter gameplay is fantastic story is great it's not like it's not been done before yeah, yeah you know like and that's the sad truth about it like yeah. it's just more of the same what i loved about spider-man 2 as well was that everyone used it as the demo for the playstation portal <laughs> yeah and because spider-man 2 is so dependent on high frame rate fast pace yeah because it's swinging fast. and yeah, yeah 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 it really showed up the flaws <laughs> <and the> streaming <laughs> the portal, ability yeah. of the portal yeah yeah because yeah. every little frame drop is noticed yeah yeah oh, and resolution I, drop i enjoyed that quite a lot anyway playstation yeah. portal that's this generation yeah and i think that sums up my experience of this generation pretty yeah, well yeah it's pretty good yeah like loads of cool ideas not quite hitting the mark yet yeah yeah okay, yeah they're still waiting for it to wake yeah, up yeah, yeah and okay, um, yeah. the games aren't there yet to wake it up no but hopefully after microsoft's bought every company on the planet uh they'll release some games we'll get a new tony hawks game yes um world of warcraft comes to xbox yes yeah yeah i'm trying no, to think of others no they released world of warcraft 2 because you know it's been going on since what 2004 now 20 years time for a new one guys <laughs> yeah just saying yeah okay you know just because why not um I, you actually lost my train of thought. That's <laughs> <Sorry>. so easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doesn't matter. You were saying about PlayStation Portal summing up. Yeah, it does. It sums up my experience yeah. of this generation. Mm. Still waiting for it to start. It's not quite good enough. And then you said about Tony Hawk. Yeah, I've been waiting for Tony Hawk's. Guitar Hero. Even though it's not our thing. Loads of people loved Guitar I know, Hero. I know. It's one of the most successful games. Yeah. Yeah, they whatever. Could, they could release one with just one actual guitar string. And then like you know why one why not release guitar hero that actually teaches you to play guitar it's already out there well there you go Let's get that rock rock school or rock band or something like oh, that oh wow okay like no i'm not even joking ah. you get a real guitar yeah you plug the jack into like an interface that goes into your xbox or whatever or your pc yeah and it just comes up with like like 
tablature style right yeah but like guitar hero so yeah. it's not like real tab yeah or manuscript or anything it's like weird guitar hero stuff. it's not for me but <laughs> it's a real thing wow and you can actually learn guitar from that's really playing cool. the game yeah rocksmith that's what it's called wow I'll, I'll eat my hat for that one or yeah, your no. hat for yes that one. you can eat my hat it's probably not very tasty but. no um I want to know what you guys think at home. Do yeah. you, are you as disappointed with this generation as we are, or are we just two whiny old losers? Yeah. I already know the answer. Yes. Yeah. Um, but if you have got to the deep end with us and you've joined us on Spotify or you're flicking your pod bean, then <laughs> please do rate the show five stars, obviously. Oh, yeah. And because we've got to the end with you yeah. and you've finished what you're doing in the toilet, yes. I've been watching you. Yes. Now's the time to wash. You can wipe <laughs> and rate. Wipe, wash, and rate. Oh, was it? You ought to wash before you wipe. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was it. Oh, man, I thought I was really confident I had that then. Damn it. Make sure you wipe, wash, and rate the show. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're on YouTube, hi there. You've been watching us. Uh, there are buttons below. Make sure you press them. Thumbs up, clearly, and subscribe. And of course, if you really do like what we do here, the channel memberships is open. And what does that give you? exclusive early access access to the access of this content there you access. go you get access all areas to us here <laughs> basically a little bit earlier than this goes out you get to watch it before everyone else if that's the thing or if you just want to say nice one like what you do you can do that too that's yeah, yeah, yeah. much appreciated yeah. um and i guess that leaves nothing else but to watch another video by us in between us and we'll leave you there awesome thanks for watching see you next time Bye. Bye.